Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. I got something to tell you I don't think they want you to know. But I'm going to tell you anyway. It's your boy, award-winning researcher, best-selling author, Mickey D. As you know, for the last few weeks or so, last couple weeks, I've been in the street, man, knocking on doors, talking to people in companies, uh, just all over Vegas. Please take a look at some of those videos. Uh, I was at MedMen. I was at uh, Planet 13. Uh, enjoyed myself. I saw Boys to Men. Uh, I had a chance to see Salt and Pepper's 90 Act. In in fact, a guy that's doing things out here in the marijuana, Mike Tyson, was in line just before me uh, at the uh, 90 show, and uh, we hollered a little bit. As you know, do your research. He's got a project out here. He's got a marijuana project out here, so he's uh, excited about that, and we're all excited about what he's doing. As you know, my show is, the, the scoop is for education and entertainment purposes only. I am not a stockbroker. This is not to be misconstrued as money advice, but I do have some good, good things for you today. Uh, get a pen and piece of paper and write some notes. You're going to want to write this stuff down because this stuff could benefit you and your family for a very, very long time. As you know, my books, Make Money Online with Cannabis Stocks, Learn This Basic Strategy, and Build Wealth with Cannabis Stocks today. Uh, you can pick up my books on Amazon.com. Uh, you can pick them up at your local bookstore, Amazon.com. They'll have the audio book available for you. They'll have the ebook available for you. They'll have the paperback book available for you. Another one of my books, The African Marijuana Gold Mine, Rich Mineral Soil Meets Wall Street. As you know, Wall Street is in Africa constantly. And they are right now looking for minerals and they're looking for anything and everything in Africa. And guess what they ran across? Some of the greatest hemp. Uh, you read the book. It's in there. And you, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But there's Africa right now and Mexico uh, with the uh, legislature there in Mexico with the Supreme Court uh, going ahead with marijuana. You, you read about it. Do your homework on Mexico. Get as many Latin American stocks as you can if that's your thing. You know, Promising marijuana and... Uh, CBD treatments as you know the first drug by the FDA was approved and there are all around the world there are promising uh, treatments for diseases all over the world and people are benefiting especially in the pain area uh, all different areas people are benefiting from medical uh, marijuana the largest indoor and outdoor marijuana farms in the world but you didn't know I was a prolific writer right that book is out there also. Get ahead of the curb. Know exactly where some of these places are that have massive marijuana farms and what have you. And you will, you'll know exactly what some of these countries and some of these areas are working on uh, with the largest indoor and outdoor mar marijuana farms in the world. Um, I'm just, you know, as a researcher, I, I try and get it out there and have everybody... Uh, educated on what they're investing in you know I've, I've been on top of the uh, marijuana industry for some years now and uh, when these guys tell me things especially at conferences like I was been at the conferences and uh, when they tell like I'll, I'll give an example like uh, uh, Bruce Lenton uh, Canopy CEO you ask him point blank you know what are institutions doing now he's Mickey they're they're looking to quality companies. Well, you know, I take that as I take that and run with it, man. If he's telling me that the institutions have turned the corner and they're not throwing money everywhere like they were just six months ago, so I'm looking for the quality companies also. So for some of these other run of the mill companies, it's over. You know, it's just like when uh, when uh, I was at a conference and. Uh, I was told by uh, Aurora, people at Aurora, I asked Cam Point Bank, do you have money? He said, Mickey, we got plenty of money. You know, stock was under 50 cents. You know, you couldn't give these stocks away. What, the summer, a couple summers ago, 2016, look at the charts. You couldn't even give these. They were 
dollar, two dollars, fifty cents, twenty-five cents. You couldn't give them away. Well, there's another industry right now the same exact way, and I'll tell you about it in a minute. Something I learned at the uh, uh, that uh, learned at the conference. I want to talk to you about it. Investing in medical and recreational cannabis by before, during, and after legalization. Uh, legalization's coming here. Another book for you. All under Mickey D on Amazon.com. You can get them all. You can bundle them. I'm trying to get get them to bundle them together. You can get the whole series. You can uh, definitely be on top of this thing. But I want to talk to you today about what I really learned at the conferences this year. Kind of what the theme was and how history is, seems to be repeating itself, you know, and it's like, what's next? You know, marijuana, uh, the us knowing Canada was going to legalize, America's going to legalize, a lot of this is built into these stocks. It's already, you know, the easy money, I was telling someone the other day, the easy money is gone from marijuana stocks. It's turned to earnings. And the earnings right now on a lot of these companies, not really adding up. They're burning a lot of money. And, you know, there are people that tell you, whoa, they've doubled their earnings. They've done this. They've done that. Let me tell you, I'm going to tell you straight up. And this is from talking to, to uh, executives. There are trading stocks out there. And some I've talked to you about. I've done reports on them. These are trading stocks. There are stocks out there that are going to be around for years to come. I'm talking Canada's big three. I'm talking the United States' big four or five. There may even be six or so. But history is going to repeat itself. Listen to me. Listen to me. During the SNL crisis in 86 to like 95, there were like over a thousand SNLs out of the 3,000 that went out of business. That's a lot. That's a lot of savings and loans going out of business. Uh, the late uh, John McCain was caught up in that uh, a little bit. It, it, look at your history book there. I was a young real estate agent in California. And I was, I was on top of it. And it was it's something that, you know, when... When companies go out of business, they have to sell their assets. And some of these companies right now of stocks that we own will have assets that will not be picked up by other co uh, companies. I, I think some of these companies are so weak that there's no merger or no one's going to acquire them. So those particular companies, you definitely want to get your, your money. Even though they're involved with the big trend of marijuana you know, and we're in somewhat early. We're not uh, 50 cents a quarter early on a company with a real great vision. A company like a Canopy, a company like Aurora, Alfreya. These companies had, they had visionaries running these companies. And you look back, you look, you look at, look at the housing bubble. Look at 2007 to 2009. You know, and and believe me, just just hear me out. I'm not equating bubbles to what's going on right now in the uh, marijuana industry, but it may come out that way. Even the, I remember my house in Southern Cal. I'm on a modest hundred and forty thousand dollar house. This house was three bedroom, uh, three bath. You know, it was a modest upstairs downstairs house in a track. Here. My house went from one forty to like five hundred thousand dollars. I mean. That if that wasn't you know jumping up there, of course it fell back down on his face, and you know you take places like it's repeating itself right now. You take places like San Francisco or L.A. or you can't rent a garage for under what fifty. You can't you can't stand somebody's garage for under two thousand dollars a month. You know it's ridiculous. Well, you you know that brings us to. You know, the dot coms and what I learned from the dot coms and stuff. You know, the, the NASDAQ was what? It was a thousand 
in like uh, 95 and then 2000, just five years later, it was like 5,000, you know, so it was going up year after year after year after year. It was going up, you know, stocks were going up and being wiped out and coming back down, going up, coming back down, going up, coming back down. And you kind of look at the marijuana industry a little bit and stocks are going up, coming back down. And the one thing I learned, though, the, the main thing I learned from then that I'm learning now is what comes next. And history is repeating itself because the same thing then is coming now. Do you recall... And I know a lot of you haven't, haven't, probably haven't been trading for a long, long period of time like, like I have. But do you recall after the dot-com bubbles, what got hot? It was commodities. Things like, do you remember uranium? Uranium went up to like from seven, eight dollars a pound to like 140. Guess what, my friends? History is repeating itself. Vanadium and uranium right now are going up. Vanadium is going crazy. It's gone from six to what, uh, twenty, thirty dollars or something a pound or something. I know uranium's gone from like seventeen, eighteen, twenty to like all just under thirty. So the commodities then, and gold was, was making a little, doing its thing a little bit, going up. The commodities followed like a, mar a big marijuana thing or a big uh, dot-com thing or like a big SNL crisis, uh, that type of deal. So I say that to, you could take it for what it's worth. Uh, you may have some interest in that industry. You may not. But there are some things happening like, uh, for instance, there are catalysts right now that are helping like uranium. For instance, you've got the Chinese that at the end of this month, November 30th, uh, they'll be, uh, they have a new law which goes into effect that I think they rebars, they have to put more, uh, they have to put more uh, vanadium. I'm sorry, vanadium in, in their rebar. Vanadium is just a, uh, it makes steel stronger, harder and stuff. So... They've had problems with some of their buildings, you know, wind blowing them over, what have you. So, so the government has said, this is what you're going to do. So there's not enough vanadium just to take care of them. So what's the price going to do? Of course, the price is going to skyrocket. The same with uranium. You've got like 66, uh, you know, uh, uranium, uh, you know, you, you've got... Uh, the nuclear plants, the, the uranium, you got like 66 of them that are on the board right now, you know, being built. And you've got others that are in their planning stages and all. And you don't, you don't even have uh, uranium to take care of them. So there's got to be, and there, it's not like, you know, in a uranium mine, you can, you know, in a year and a half, you know, we'll build it and it'll be, no, no, man, it takes like seven, it could take 12 or 15 years to get one of these things up. And we're short now. So it's not if the market it's going, if the, the price of uranium is going up. It's when. And that's going to be soon. And there's stocks out there right now. Even in the last uranium run, I had these little stocks that, that went up. So my gift to you, and I know you guys ate a lot of turkey during the holiday. My gift to you is I'm going to give you three little stocks that are going to probably make your Christmas. But you got to be patient because they're going to make you all of next year and then they're, you just, just be patient. Let me give them to you though. One is only, I'm, I'm going to give them to you because I used, a, I, I used a, a research strategy that I used during the dot coms. This is the strategy. Let me just break it down in a nutshell here. This is just a preview of next year's book. Let me just let you know here. You know, there are angel investors out there. There are uh, private 
offerings and all, you know, Oprah Winfrey, you know, Google for seven cents or 12 cents or whatever, a share. You know, some people do get a hold of these things before we, us, Joe, Joe and Jane out in the general public. They get a hold of it before we do, right? So my research has taken me to three stocks that had public offerings or that had, uh, what do you want to call them, uh, angel investors um, at a certain price. And now the price has gotten below their price. Right? You with me? You with me? So you're buying this stock for less than what they bought it for. Now, these are smart people. These are the best in the business. They give them 100,000, 300,000 shares at a certain price, and the general public buys, you know, once the price has gone up and it's priced for us, we get a different price. But if you're patient and you wait long enough and it's in a bear market, your price may go down and be the same price as those privileged investors. So there are three companies I want to give you here. One is called Blue Sky Uranium. The ticker symbol is BKUCF. Blue Sky Uranium. Now, they did a private placement a while back, maybe about a year ago, at 14 cents. Guess what the stock is trading for now? The stock is trading for 10 cents. So those people that bought a million shares at 14 cents, guess what? You're going to do better than they did. You're going to get in at 10 cents if that's what you do. Now, I'm not saying get in or get out, buy or don't buy. I don't give, informa I don't give uh, information like that. I give you the information and you do whatever you want to do with it. That's Blue Sky Uranium. Got another one for you. GovX Uranium. GVXXF is the symbol. GVXXF is a symbol. They did a private placement also, you know, raised money, did an offering, what have you. 17 cents a share. It's trading today, now as we speak, probably Monday morning, at 13 cents. Now, all the rich people and all the big wigs and all the, the you know, they got their parents hooked up and everybody else hooked up. And guess what? You can get in at 13 cents, well, they got in at 17 cents. That is a good thing. Getting in early like that is a good thing. Got one more for you. There's been a lot of talk about the uh, vanadium shortage, a lot of talk. And one of the stocks that, that they'll be blowing up in Nevada uh, will be a, it because it has the largest known resource in America when it comes to vanadium, it has a large, but it's not online yet and producing. So, you know, you got a big, you know, it takes a little time to produce, but they are doing some legislation. There may be some legislation coming out, uh, putting these on the fast track. And this is one of the companies that's supposed to be on the fast track. It's called Prophecy Development uh, Corporation. Now, Prophecy's uh, trading now, let me give you the ticker symbol, PRPCF. PRPCF. It's trading at about 33 cents or so. And like I said, they have the largest known uh, resource in America. So that is another uh, company that the, the price of uranium, the price of vanadium uh, will probably help it as it goes up. I mean, it's a vanadium stock. So the vanadium will go up. So that's the, uh, the skinny on that. And, you know, when, these, when the uh, price of, like, uranium ore, these stocks hit the roof. They go high. They do their thing, you know. And like I said, there's a shortage of both of them right now. A shortage of both. So it's not when they go up. It's, it's not if they go up, but it's when they go up. So that's going to happen, and they're all right now, these are at multi-year lows, 
So it's going to be a good thing for all of us. But with that said, I've been long. I've gone about 20 minutes. It's after the, uh, after the good old uh, conference. And I learned that history is going to repeat itself. As far as marijuana stocks, concentrate on those bigger stocks. Those, the top three, four stocks that are going to be listed on the exchanges. They've already started the process in Canada. Uh, in the U.S., they're going, to do, they're going to be doing some legislation. Focus on those companies, and those companies will make you and your family, uh, they'll give you the ability to have that extra trip every year. Maybe go to Disneyland, because with some of these stocks, you're going to do well enough to have your Disneyland trip believe me when I tell you that so with that said thank you again for joining me for the scoop it's been a pleasure you can subscribe if you haven't subscribed this is your first time listening to the show and I hope you got something out of it uh, I'll be doing some more uh, shows periodically every couple weeks but I'm doing research right now and it's taking me right to these areas where they have shortages it's not if it's a matter of when. So we're talking not guaranteed money because nothing is guaranteed. But if you put your lunch money on some of these vanadium, uranium, and not a lot of people are talking about it, but it's happening right now as we speak. It's happening. So with that said, thanks again. I'm, I'm out. Love you. God bless you. Have a great holiday season.